Hello, everyone. I wanted to uh, share this book here. This is has connections to tarot. Disregard all my uh, tabs here. I got this off Amazon. This is I've had this, yeah, a few years. Um, it's pretty interesting. I thought I'd share. It's been a while since I read the first part of this book. Uh, I probably should reread it, but. Um, so this is just, uh, let's, uh, just to give you a, an intro here, uh, the deck that we're talking about a regular playing deck of cards. The deck has 52 cards. Our year has 52 weeks. The deck is four suits. Our year has four seasons. Each suit is 13 cards. Season has 13 weeks. Um, so yeah, there's just all these cool connections with the deck of cards with, uh, our calendar. So each day each day has a card connection, a different card connection. So just for ease of explanation, uh, I'll go, here's our author here, Alexander Dunlop. Your birthday has a card. So for me, I am, uh, I'm 413. So my card is eight of diamonds. And then you also have a personality card and mine is ace of club. So the, what you do is you go to your card. So my card here, my card here is my eight of diamonds and it gives you your, uh, just a, a summary here and a little affirmation and uh some some keywords here of your card and then you you have these cards as well so you have this uh moon card so someone with a birthday that is the 10 of club they would be they would be my moon card so you look in the back here and there's like some relationship dynamics, relationship dynamics here. And so someone who has this 10 of club, they are a supportive nurturing presence. Uh, they'll likely I'll share a strong sense of intimacy and connection with this person. So it's, it's, uh, there's some, uh, I want to say entertaining, but I, I also believe there is a, a truth to it because I've noticed a connection or, you know, just good chemistry with people that have certain cards. So what was funny, so I looked at my siblings. My sister is June 25. So she is a five of club. And she's also, her personality is a 10 of spade, but anyway, we'll stick with the, the birth card here. She is a five of club and my brother, he is a December 13 and he is also a five of club. So the five of club, I look at my list here. The five of club is my Uranus card. So both of my siblings are my Uranus card, uh, which I thought was funny. So you go to your, back to your relationship dynamics. So my, uh, my siblings here are a friendly, but variable presence. You may be friends with and receive pivotal ben benefit from someone with this card to play, but their connection to you may be uneven and unpredictable and they may be full of surprises. So that's funny. It's a funny connection there. Another connection, uh, a long time ago, I, I was involved with, uh, I had a, a girlfriend that was a long time ago, but, uh, so later on when I got this book, I was looking up a lot of people's birthdays and her birthday was, uh, is still 10, 17. Now this is funny because I'm just now noticing she is also my Uranus card, uh, her birth card. So, but her personality card 
is Ace of Spade. So I look at my, so I look back at my, my list here, and I look for Ace of Spade, and Ace of Spade is my Pluto card. So Pluto card, a shadowy, uneasy presence. People with this card to play reveal your shadow side, the very thing you may try to keep hidden until you're completely comfortable facing your own shadow. You may find these people awkward, invasive, and repugnant. So, um, someone that I, uh, a celebrity that I've always thought was pretty cool is Troy Aikman. Uh, you may not be familiar with Troy Aikman. He was a, he's very... Uh, known here in Dallas. He was a quarterback, but he's just a very well-known public figure here, but I always liked him. So he is a November 21. So I go to November 21, and he is a Queen of Heart. So look up Queen of Heart. Now, I'm looking at his list here, and my my card the eight of diamonds i am his venus card so even though none of my cards i don't have his queen, uh, queen of hearts on my list i don't believe but i am on his list so there's i believe it goes both ways so even though on my list here on the eight of diamonds none of my cards are the queen of hearts there's still a, a connection there because I am on his list. Um, and there's also some interesting connections, the soul challenge and soul gift, that, that stuff I, I know I read about, but it's been a long time, but uh, something you may, uh, you can read about if you wanna get the book. Uh, my good friend from high school just saw last night, he is a August 3rd, he is an August 3rd and he, now, Leos have the same personality card as their birth card, and he talks about that in this book as well. Leos are, uh, are special. <laughs> so, anyway, August 3rd, he is a Ten of Die, a Ten of Diamonds. Now, he's not, now, Ten of Diamonds, even though he's not on my list, since he is a diamond, he is in my suit. Uh, we, there's a connection there because we are in the same suit. I think that's pretty much it. I have a lot of connections in my family and, uh, it's cool to, uh, you find someone you have a, a chemistry with, you find out their birthday, you look up their, their birthday here and you see if you have a, a connection, but you can also have a connection, uh, just chemistry without sharing uh, cards, but, uh, yeah, I have to go over on a per personality card. I think that might have to do with leap year or something. Some people have like a, an either, uh, these two cards here for their personality. So I hope you found that interesting. Uh, just for the record, I am not affiliated with Mr. Dunlop here. A while back, he had like a, a free call that had we had several people on there and that was pretty interesting he gave a like an overview of the book and uh, yeah he he has services available but yeah this was i uh, i enjoy this book and uh yeah i believe it's available on your your local amazon and i should uh be making a new video soon thank you for watching